Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtagorband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of my Macedon campaign for Ancient Empires Total War. And in the last episode, we defeated the Pontic Royal Army, and now we are over here at their only settlement, besieging what's left of their army inside. He did manage to raise a few more of the Cappadocian levies and cheaper Peltus units. He does have a decent amount of cavalry as well. But looking at the garrison, it's really not that good. They've got some Pontic Militia, uh, some Colonist Spears here. They do have the Pontic Royal Guard and a unit of Bronze Shield Phalanx. But I don't think they're going to cause too much trouble to us. And we actually received an... Bleh. We actually received an objective in the last episode to be at war with Galatia. And ironically, I was going after Galatia right after I finished off Pontus because I can secure this province here. And it actually is going to give us 10,000 just to be at war with them. Now we do have six turns to complete it. And I am sieging Pontus currently. In two more turns, their supplies run out. So that means at turn three, they should get a hefty amount of attrition dealt to the forces inside and at most turn four we should be able to either auto resolve it or fight it easily without too many casualties uh, you can see it's going to take four turns for all of these siege equipment to be finished anyways and if they do sally out against us that's fine i think we can beat them on the field of battle but that's four turns and then we still will be able to get over here in the next two turns i believe and start to siege their capital now they do have a pretty large garrison but unfortunately for them most of it consists of Galatian levy freemen the only things that are going to be hard to deal with are the noble warband here but it is a pretty solid garrison I'm just hoping that no one sieges them while I'm dealing with Pontus because I really want that settlement for myself but I think as uh, oh yes I had to spend all my money on those mercenaries I wish that I hadn't disbanded them and just kept them for the uh, duration of this war against Pontus, but I was stupid and I disbanded them, so I had to make do with a couple of spears, and uh, I got one of the units of mercenary Cappadocian cavalry in there as well. But I think that is all I'm able to do this turn, so let's go ahead and end it. And I think after I kind of get rid of these smaller factions that are in Asia Minor, my next target will be Ptolemy. Because they have a few key settlements that I want that do complete some provinces that I have. So I think that would be the next target. And then after that point, hopefully we will be strong enough to deal with the Seleucids. Now the Seleucids are strength rank one so they are extremely powerful more powerful than the romans however i'm strength rank four currently so i feel like if i had another full stack with about four or five pikes in it i think we could be able to just steamroll asia minor take a lot of their territory away from them and then just maybe hold there for the time being until you know the seleucids just succumb to themselves or if because I think they are at war with a lot of other factions so taking profitable cities uh, would really hurt their economy and it would make it easier for their enemies to take them over okay we've got some defamation here Perseus does have a lot of influence uh, he is going after this wife here Let's just pay him off. I can afford the influence. And yeah, so it looks like they aren't going to push out against us, which is fine. I can actually use a couple of turns to just build my economy up a little bit more. Even in the winter time now, we're making four grand. So I think that we will be able to... Oh, that's that's a bit of a problem. So yes, this is what I'm going to do as soon as I take the Pontic territory is, is get some uh, farms in there because they're going to need some farming. Uh, what's the public order here looking like? It's plus two, which is good. How are we looking in Byzantium? Uh, they they are not happy, but it's because they need some buildings here. Okay, so what... Can, can do that, but I think we need to get some buildings in here for them. So...
We've we're already we've already got the building that will give public order and tax. Underground sewers. This is a new building. A lot of sanitation, but boy, is it expensive. But then again, if I convert it to this, minus 50% local maintenance costs. So I wonder, so that would be halved. Oops, my bad. So that would be halved. So it would really only be 1200 for six public order, growth, and sanitation. That might be a worthwhile building to have. Oh my goodness, we've got a local mint here too. No kidding. Plus 12% tax rate. That is actually a really good building there. Unfortunately, we will need gold for it. This gives income from trade. And that really heavily affects the public order, so I'm not interested in that currently. Okay, so yeah, let's put a local mint in here. I guess in the new patch, they've actually come out with a few more buildings, which is nice. And are these any better? I mean, they, they do give a little bit of income. The public wells. I mean, that's plus 10 sanitation and 4 growth for only 1,200. So I think actually we're going to go with the wells here. And then one more thing. Twelve hundred from local trade. Yeah, so let's Oops. Or actually, no, I probably want this building in. I think I Five public order, research, civil, faction-wide. Yeah, let's put, let's put that building in. And next turn, we'll convert this over to Allies of the King, because that will definitely help our income as well as cutting down those maintenance costs. And I also want to get this up as well, because that will help with public order and give us a nice boost to tax rate. Because uh, they're also, they've got a tax deduction. And actually, if we've got some people that are happy here, what is this giving? Public order and corruption. Minus 10 public order, minus 2 growth. So I guess we can leave it for now. It's not the worst thing in the world to have have that. But yeah, I think I do want to start building up an army too. So I will be saving to get some decent units. You can see we've got the Ajima here. Heavy melee infantry. Actually, I want to check and see uh, what the difference is between the Royal Peltus and the Ajima. So they got a better charge bonus, less melee defense, better armor, but less morale. That's that's not really that much of a difference for an extra 20 gold in upkeep. Might just stick with the Royal Peltus, to be honest. And I'm really liking the Macedonian Peltus Phalanx. I mean, the Ajima Phalanx is also good, but the Macedonian Phalanx is actually better and cheaper. Yeah, I really think that they are the best option, to be honest. So yeah, food for thought there. What the heck? Are we at war with them? When did they declare war? United against us. Invited by the Romans. Oh, dear.
Oh, that's not very good. Speak quickly and well. Speak ill or slowly, and I may feed your tongue to the dogs. Okay, well that that's not too good. What's the garrisons like here? I mean, not the best, but at least it's something. You need to get over to Byzantium quickly. And, to be honest, we need to stop a few of these buildings here. So we'll keep the local mint going. But we need four pikemen there. Actually, let's just go for five pikemen. Or actually, what kind of... Do we have any good units here? For 141. Could go for three of them. Let's just max it out at six pikes. I think that I could beat them with six pikemen. I'd imagine it's all just a bar bunch of garbage uh, spears. But yeah, that that is a bit of a problem. And I'm taking attrition because it's winter time. Is that why? Good thing I noticed that. Dang. But those islands, they, uh, let me check the public order. I mean, it's still plus three, even with us not there. So I think we should be fine. And I'll have five pikemen there, and we're just going to put the squeeze on Bessie. They've been a thorn in our side since the very beginning when we took Scoopy from them. You remember uh, from the first couple episodes when I went after them, and they were really upset about that. Uh, we did manage to get peace with them, which is nice. But I just hope that they don't come and siege us this turn, and they give me a bit of time to actually consolidate my forces. And you are a governor, so let's give you sanitation here. Oh, I'm just hoping they don't do anything just yet. For battle, we dream of it. And we they're going to war with me too, really. Goose. And you look plump. Why are all these factions all of a sudden declaring war? Me, your strength rank is seventy-two. It's probably because they're friends with Bessie or something. Oh, thank goodness! So they haven't done anything yet. And that is to their downfall, because now I'm going to take all their territory from them. And actually, we may get increased relations with the Triboli, or the Triboli tribe, because they hate Bessie, and Bessie has been really hitting them hard lately. So I guess... Economic expansions are on hold for the time being. Until we can deal with some of these enemies that surround our empire. Yes, so I... Oh my goodness, that is a lot of attrition. Wow. They actually may come out and get us this turn. Dang. Didn't think about the winter. But neither did the Germans, did they? Alright, so they're just sitting there. Let's try and get peace with this other tribe. Because I don't even know why they... Oh, hey. Be welcome, friend of Egypt. And speak of your concerns to mighty... They're at war with Ptolemy. Do you want trade? Hi. 
Let's ask for some money for that. I would speak for nice. Ptolemy actually doesn't mind us now, which is kind of funny. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, man, if, if Ptolemy wants to kind of peace out and be nice with us, then I guess we could let them go. For now. Let them survive. Where is the Seleucids or the Seleucids? Yeah, they hate me. Why do you hate me so much? Treaties with Galatia. Well, if I go to war with them, then be you welcome. might actually and may Hermes bless your words with be alright with speed. that, eh? All right, so yeah, I don't know why we're at war, brave or foolish or but I guess that's what they want. Speak quickly. Speak quickly. He's such a whiner, that guy. All right, so we've got five pikemen here. Let's go for six of them. It's gonna cripple my economy, but. Uh, we've locked down this side over here. Actually, can I hit this settlement over here? <gasps> Ooh, I can. I mean, they could retaliate and come in. Yeah, let's wait. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I don't want them to come in against us over here just yet. So we were going for the Philosopher's Stoa. And then, I what was the last thing I was putting in here? I think it was... No, it wasn't that. Public wells? Yeah, yeah, it was the public wells. That's that's what was going in. All right, so what are we currently researching? We're finishing this, which would unlock more public baths. And then maybe we should go back against the... Or go back up and hit up this, the mercenary chain... A lot of these increase upkeep of units, which is a little bit annoying. I was hoping there would be things that decrease the upkeep. Anyways, fair enough. Okay, so yeah, we did take a ton of attrition there, which is a little bit annoying. Are there any more mercenaries available here? I mean, there are some more spears. And there is another unit of cavalry and there's another Germanic unit as well let's merge these two get rid of you oh crap I don't have enough money uh, derp <laughs> well that was stupid oh well I don't think they're going to come out against us. I would be kind of shocked if, if that was what was going to happen. And actually, five, six. There we go. That should be enough to grab that unit. 1099 really. I'm $7 short. Speak quickly and well. Speak ill or slowly and I Peace may see is your high now. Dogs. Well, I mean, we're already at war with them, so why why would I not? I was just hoping if someone else could give me some money for something. Do not attempt to sweeten truth with heart. Massalia. I will listen. I cannot say for how long, for matters of state and wow, they, they actually of olives give us a attention. lot in trade. Interesting. I am sure you have many oh, here we go. for me, but please don't bother. Talk of meat, not honey. Oh, this is gonna give us a nice amount of money. Can we do twenty two hundred? 
Yeah, all right, that worked out. So now I can get the best of both worlds here. Grab one more of the Royal Peltis. And then get these mercenaries. And actually, I can I can even still get the public wells. So that is perfect. All right, end the turn. Looks like the Ptolemaic Kingdom is actually expanding in Asia Minor because they've sieged one of the cities of the Seleucids. Okay, so they're coming out. They know that they're desperate at this point. 3,200 to 3,700. So they are going to outnumber us, but with what quality of troops? It's just really not there. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield. All right, guys, welcome to the battlefield. And it is a very rainy battlefield that we have come to deal harshly with Pontus and their remaining generals. And it looks like they are coming towards us, which is excellent. They did attack us, so they are going to be the ones that are going to have to be aggressive. And it looks like they have deployed the majority of their cavalry on the other side. So what I'm actually going to do is pull my units in just a bit. And I've got my Macedonians in the center, and most of my cheaper troops are on the flanks. Let's go ahead and spread them out just a little bit here. And I do have my cavalry as well. Now it looks like they are kind of leaving the garrison behind, which is interesting. I would love to just get all of my cavalry around there and just charge into them. But with the Spear Militia, you know, they are Tier 2, so I can't really trust that we are going to win that engagement. And I forgot one unit here, so let's pull back just a little further. And let's just fast forward a bit. See what they do. To be honest, I kind of want to move forwards here. Okay. They're coming to try and hold the hill. Let me bring my pikes up this way. With my mercenaries. Cataphrats claim the hill. Royal Pontus. Or sorry, Royal Peltus, not Royal Pontus. There are some Royal Pontus units on the battlefield today, but I hope that they all die. kind of divided their army into a few different groups here, which is interesting. Oops. Form up the lines. Pikemen will be, or sorry, the cavalry will be coming in soon. And we're already starting to get fired upon. My left flank is definitely the weaker of the two. Alright, let's lock you guys and push you forwards. What the heck happened there? to soak this charge up with the general. Actually, they did not get a good charge in there, so that is good. Actually, come over here. Yeah, it's start to get rid of those. Careful, pikemen. You move up as well. Not even watching to see what's going on on this flank here. Just make sure to screen that cavalry if we can. But I want to see what's going on over here. Excellent. Yeah, they're they're breaking. Actually, 
can you come over here? Drive the rest of this cavalry away from me. Uh, pikemen need to form up. They're gonna get caught out. Quickly. Gonna need to send the Royal Peltis in. Actually, the, uh... The mercenary Galatians have actually done well. Again, I'm not going to engage on my right flank. I'm just trying to keep the zone free over here. Don't pursue them too much, guys. Do you have some cavalry that is returning? I will use my general's unit for dealing with that. And actually, one of these mercenary Galatians can come in as well to help out. Let's try and get my cavalry over here after them. And let's just, again, pull back on the right flank. Not engage just yet. And you guys need to be ready for what's about to come. Careful with those pikes, guys. Careful. Actually, they were not in a good position at all, so... That actually worked out. The pikes are actually trying to pull away. Okay, cavalry, get out of there. You're getting slaughtered. Move in, men. Move in. That's the Ponic Royal Guard that's holding so well on the hilltop. Is this unit coming back again? Just harassing us from afar, it looks like. Charge in! Don't let them escape! Macedonia Citizen Cavalry. Let's try and flank around these guys. But yeah, I think we've got it at this point. General, where the heck are you going? Can just run them down, I guess. That's fine. And you hit the general from behind. I believe he is also Pontic Royal Guard. They're actually going to get a nice side charge there. Sorry for not so much zooming in there, guys, but I really need to... Make sure I do not lose this battle. Although, as I said, I think we've just about got it. Uh, let's pull one of my pike units around here. To flank around them. Oh, crap. They broke my... Broke my citizen cab. The general is outflanked now. Haunted Royal Guard. We are bringing over reinforcements as well to make sure that we're able to break him. Let's actually zoom into this battle. I want to see the Haunted Royal Guard in action here. Oh, there we go. You can see my Royal Cultists exhausted as they are, but still moving around flank the general's bodyguard. Am I going to lose my general? What the heck are you doing over here? Quit screwing around, buddy. Alright. All you guys, get into that general. Surround the bronze shield phalanx. And good, they are broken. They're going to escape, so we'll just allow that to happen. Run down these archers over here. Oh, nice, they broke. And that is the battle. What do we got over here? Native infantry, they're probably going to get off the battlefield alive. What do we got here? Eight Pontic Royal Guard. Do I have any more cavalry? nearby. 
you come out over here, try and grab some of these units that are escaping. 109 Pontic Militia, I do want to kind of run them down if possible. And, oh, sorry guys, we can fast forward this. Still in full battle mode here. But not too many casualties. Looking pretty good. And we've severely weakened their garrison now. To the point where we may just be able to auto-resolve that easily enough. Yeah, just go after the Pontic Archers. That's fine. And I don't think you're going to catch that general, to be honest. But just so long as we can take down as many as possible. Fortunately, the militia has just escaped. And is this just the one guy left? Yeah, just the one bronze shield phalanx still alive. And actually, we may catch this one over here. Depleted a little bit further. I know it's only eight men, but uh, that general probably will survive anyways. So I guess we could just end the battle there. And another decisive victory for Macedon. And there we go. So he only has 392 remaining of his force, the garrison being all but destroyed. And we're going to go ahead and take that 9% replenishment. But actually, I've got to show you here 697 kills from the Cappadocian Cavalry. And uh, General getting 486. It was pretty much uh, high kills with the Royal Peltis as well. They did really well. 289 from the Mercenary Galatians. So yeah, let's take the replenishment. And that we're going to have to go in next turn and just auto-resolve it or maybe fight it ourselves because the winter will be coming and I'll be taking loads of attrition if I don't. And Bessie is actually withdrawn from their main settlement. So I might be able to just push with both my armies at the same time. And make them pay for declaring war on me. That'd probably be the last time you'll listen to a Roman. I love it, Rome, too. Like, I'm really thankful that they haven't attacked me aggressively yet. But, uh... It's just so sneaky how they're just calling other people to fight their own battles. But I guess they're probably quite busy with their all of their enemies and, and the Senate Separatists and such, but... I'm actually kind of surprised that Carthage is still alive at this point. There we go. So yeah, I will be taking a bunch of attrition and... Yeah, they've got barely any garrison, so I think it is safe to just auto-resolve that. Uh, be aggressive. Hopefully, don't lose my pikemen. And nope, looks like they all hold on. And we will just occupy. Very nice. Royal Court. Repair that. Native cattle ranches. Woodcutters. Oh, there's wood here. But I think we already have wood as a resource from one of these buildings. So I think actually we will just get rid of that in favor of something different. And I guess we can repair that for now. Uh, we'll take a look at those buildings in the next episode. What can we get here? Uh, nothing really that good, but I'm going to hold on to most of these mercenaries. I'm going to get rid of this one here. Don't really need that, but the next episode, I think it will be, because I don't think we're going to do one more turn, but the next turn and episode, we will be declaring war on the Galatians and then moving in to siege them. So that is on the agenda for next episode. Over here, I mean... Could get some Thracian archers. That would actually be useful. They take forever to train, though, which is not ideal. But this army is definitely ready to just move in. Oh, 
I was just thinking about it for a minute. Wow, that is a big garrison. My goodness. So maybe we're not ready just yet. <laughs> yeah, Kingdom of Pontus is destroyed. All right. Um, yeah, let's... I mean, what's the ambush chance here? 35%. I mean, we're out of range of their settlement. We could try and ambush and see if that would work. Not too sure if it will or not. Okay, but at Byzantium, let's go ahead and change that over to Allies of the King. And we can go ahead and upgrade this to an Emporium for trade. And yet we still got the siege going on over here. I don't know why they're sieging. They've got a big enough force to just take it out, but... Looks like this General Perseus has leveled up as well, so what do we want? Cost of recruiting mercenaries would be good. Minus 10 attrition when laying siege. Yeah, let's go for that. Very nice. And I think that is all we can do for now. Rating actually gives us a lot more money. And can I actually reinforce you guys? Not really. So I think we'll just sit there for now. And actually... Oh, you know what? I, I probably couldn't even afford it. Ooh, mercenary Bastarne warriors. But these guys look like Thracian... Like the Thracian nobles. Ooh, they look very cool. Hey, and there's some mercenary Celtic warband. I'll have to get some of those as well, I think. Ooh, there are some good units here. Let's just move back for now. Just to be safe, I think because they moved over there, I don't think they can reach me this turn. And I want to bring both these armies up to deal with them at the same time. So I want to wrap up one, one flank at a time. But I think that is all we're going to have time for today, guys. And in the next episode, we will be going up against the Galatians. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.